select all x delete and shift a we need a cube so uh, go to edit mode and select this edge select mode and let's give it a loop cut three loop cuts this side three loop cuts on this side and also to this side also three loop cuts and go to select this face mode and select this faces uh, from each side okay now this one okay now once you select all of the faces press x and delete faces okay now we have got this shape now select this edge select tool and select all the edges now now this one this this and this and just change the median to individual origin points and scale it like that um, now we have got this nice shape just press uh, press top and let's give it a modifier go here add modifier uh, we're gonna give a solidify modifier and increase the thickness and even thickness something like 12 is okay now let's give it a bevel modifier also uh, for the for this i'm gonna give two segments and amount let's say 0.05 i think that's okay and let's give it a shade auto smooth oh, no need just the auto smooth okay now next thing uh, uh, we're gonna do is let's create new coop just select cube and scale it down inside a bit something like that and let's apply scale control a and scale okay now once you apply that okay now let's go to edit mode by the way just uh, press the forward slash to separate the object okay just go to face select mode and select bottom and uh, uh, top faces and P to separate so now it's they are separate objects okay just now go to edge select mode and let's give it three loop cuts to, uh, to each side okay just like that and now uh, holding shift and we have to select them all okay now once you select them let's press ctrl b to bevel something like that is okay and x to delete faces now we delete the faces okay now go to object mode and select this part and again edit mode now we have to give it another look at for them also press ctrl r give three loop cuts here and bottom also give three loop cuts okay something is not right okay now now again select them all like and ctrl b to bevel it something like smaller okay that let's close it up make it this small mm, again yeah now x delete the faces now 
they're all done let's give it them solidify modifier generate and solidify modifier let's hide this one for now and increase the sickness and check the event sickness maybe 12 12 looks okay now to this one select this and let's give it another solidify modifier increase the sickness select event sickness this is also let's give it 12 and for this one let's scale that down a bit something like that okay now give it a apply the scale now uh, let's give them uh, another modifier bevel modifier let's give two segments and amount is four is okay shade smooth okay to this also let's select this and capital l copy modifier okay we just copy our modifier thing and now again uh, press the forward slash so we get back to our uh, we unhide the other objects so just I see there is some errors you can see so to fix that we have to go to bevel and open this geometry and just select this to arc you see now it's it has a nice uh, shape now that looks fine okay just flatten this also I think and next thing I think let's scale it down a bit so I want to cover this part okay and let's apply scale and let's go to edit mode and select this part and I'm gonna shift B to duplicate and press P to separate them okay now we have got separate object let's increase the thickness why it's not working oh, okay minus we have to go to minus to increase it maybe 10 is okay yeah I think I'm gonna just select them all and S to scale to Z axis a bit so I want I want it to look a bit more uh, great okay so the next thing is just select this and let's give it a mirror modifier to each side just select Y and Z also now it looks nice and another thing I want to give uh, let's let's press 3 and put the cursor here uh, and shift A we need a UV sphere and let's rotate it to Y axis to 90 degree and scale it down here yeah. okay move it down a bit and scale it to the x-axis like that and let's give it shade out of smooth okay that looks nice let's give it a let's scale it up a bit and move it down a bit now that looks nice and the next thing let's shift and press the shift s and cursor to word origin so we don't need it now and let's give it also um mirror modifier and select this object okay that looks nice and to y axis and also z axis now i want to duplicate them to this side so 
to do that let's go to top view by pressing 7 and select this object and also change the, this to 3d cursor okay so when I rotate it it should rotate to, to this side okay select this and shift D okay with the uh, duplicate it and press R Z axis and press 90 degree okay so let's move them I think I have to move it a little bit to this side okay let's move it closer to each other now our crate is ready let's give them a uh, uh, let's first select them all and select this last one and control p to parent them so we can move them freely now uh, together all together so next part we're gonna give them a materials lighting color okay press 3 shift a let's give them at first camera so press 7 move to X axis and press 0. Okay, let's change the camera settings here. Go there and 1200 to 1200. Okay, that looks nice. Let's rotate it a bit here. Now, the next thing I want to do, let's give it a background first R rotate to 90 degree G to move it somewhere here and let's scale it to the sun okay something is wrong oh I, I, I have to change this to median point and scale it to 15 something like that Okay, now let's go to camera view by pressing 0 and let's go to shading viewport. Now you can see uh, we can see nothing, so we have to give it a lighting. Just shift A, we need the area light and move it up a bit. So and scale it up and let's go to its uh, settings and go to power and type. 150 uh, 1500 I mean and move it up a bit and let's go to top view by pressing 7 and shift D to duplicate to this side and let's change the light direction and again 7 select move it to the other side and change the direction of the light okay and the next thing shift D move it to this side let's change this to point light and move it down like that and let's shift D move it to the back side of the crate okay now let's press 0 to go to camera view now we have to next part we have to do the coloring so we have to give it materials select the background go to materials uh, select the material and let's give it some blue color and let's select the last area light let's decrease the power something maybe 100 let's move it let's make it darker all right so next thing let's select this and let's give it a nice wood color something like like that a little bit darker and same to this color just select this and for this metal let's give it new color and from principle we have to select grossy bsdf and let's change it colors um, using like like that yeah 
now let's select them also give the same material color and to this one also same material color and select this and 